just sharing this on Twitter, but hey, this is Daryl as a service, and we're uh, checking out this morning uh, a change in uh, how we organize meetings. I'm, um, I'm a user of a, a service called Find Time, and that's been a, a product that's come out of the Microsoft Garage, and it's been quite successful. Um, a great way of being able to organize meetings. Um, if we have a quick look at the uh, existing product as it, as it has been, um, that you can add it into Office 365 as one of the add-in applications. Um, and the idea is that rather than putting out a to and fro of, of emails to say when are you available, when are you available, and getting a consensus that way, um, this drives it from the calendar. Uh, you pick out the times that are going to suit you and your calendar. You might um, also look at your scheduling assistant and check out um, the availability of people um, within uh, your own organization. And then you can um, push out a, a meeting vote. So the three times that you might have suggested are going to go out to people that are um, outside of your organization, internal in the organization as well. They can vote on the time that suits them best, or they can suggest a meeting time that is going to suit them. So um, this has been a separate product. And um, the... I should turn that down, sorry guys. The um, uh, There has been a plan on the, on the roadmap to be able to um, bring this directly into mm -hmm. Office 365's experience and um, and make that, um, you know, quite a seamless way of, of using it rather than adding an add-in. So, um, funny thing how you get taken on journeys within... Um, your regular day and, and the way that you explore and, and come across technology. This morning I was trying to help out a, a friend um, uh, with Office 365 setting it up and um, she needed to try and create a meeting from, from a web browser and uh, I do this so infrequently but I, I had to remind myself how do you do that? Um, how do you go in again? And so um, I, I was looking it up and I Remember that there was a, a web page called shed.link.com, but there is a way, of course, to be able to do this from Outlook Web Access, and there was um, a uh, button, of course, uh, which um, Steve Goodman reminded me of, um, which was um, to be able to go in and, of course, just um, add a Skype meeting. It should be that simple. Um, now, as I was going in, I noticed the find a time and thought, ha ha, um, that's that's new. Um, that's what we've been expecting. Um, so let's have a quick look at how this operates because um, it is it is quite a cool cool way of um, building this in. I've done a couple of test meetings already, um, so I have um, sent out the um, a couple of meeting invites to people um, and also to a, a test um, test user. Um, but we have the uh, let's start a meeting over here. More details. Here we have our find time. I don't have to add um, necessarily a, a title for this demo, but let's uh, drop in uh, uh, Lorian and um, Laura. Now Laura is within my own organization, so um, I'm going to see over there on the um, scheduling assistant some of the times that are free between her and I. I can at least see her information, but Lorian's outside of the organization. Um, and let's just uh, drop in my BitTitan account as well. Um, and so, yeah, a couple of people that are outside the organization. And here's where the, the magic happens. Uh, you do see that I have the find time add-in or meeting poll application. That's that's a hangover there from the, the uh, application and the, the garage application. Uh, but here's the new one, find a time. And so it builds it into... Um, the meeting vote that I can, uh, let's find another time a bit further down the day. Let's try 4.30, add that one in. And so you're starting to see some of the times that are appearing now in, in the um, schedule system. Uh, let's go over to the following week, uh, try Tuesday. Another day, another time. <laughs> And um, so it's going to suggest these three times for the meeting. Of course, the one that I initially selected as a time slot and a couple of other times that I'm free as well. Um, again, you see some, some possible times there that I could, could book um, Laura because she's available as well. 
Um, no, I won't go through and send Lauren yet another meeting request. Um, thanks, Lauren, for being an unwilling um, and unwitting participant. Um, but, um, you know, I, I could send that in meeting invite out. So let's have a look at some of the um, ones that I have sent through. Um, now, with fine time, you can um, uh, hold a time that you're suggesting. So uh, the same happens here, that I have sent out that meeting invite. Um, and the suggested times are also being held um, so that if someone does vote for that, um, at least it's not um, it's not going to be taken up by someone else within my organisation. It's um, being held out there as a, a possible time. Um, so what's um, Laura's experience? Uh, let's just have a quick look over here in her calendar. Um, so someone within the organisation, um, they are seeing a, a meeting invite and they've got three times that they could vote for. Um, so quite simple there, I could uh, tick the time and say, yep, I want that one. <clears throat> and then I can add a, a little bit of text there to say that I'm keen to, um, oh, thank you. Um, then I can, um, you know, add some additional notes about, yeah, Friday's good for me, but you could choose uh, another time there. So I'll send that availability. Um, so if we go back over to my experience over here, I should be able to get a meeting vote. And there we go. There's uh, oh, Lorraine. Yep, was on the roadmap. Okay, so Lorraine has has definitely replied to that. I don't think he's um, voted on it. I should see uh, another vote here somewhere coming from Laura um, some other time. Now the other thing that I was, oops, the other thing that I was surprised with was um, I've sent it to myself at, at BitTitan, and this is their experience that what they're seeing is someone who's external will see um, a, a couple of times that they could choose there. So if I click through to that, it's going to take me through to my Outlook Web Access experience um, for BitTitan um, rather than the um, experience of doing it directly with an Outlook. So it is still very much an Outlook web access experience that um, if you want to vote on these times, you do have to go through to the, the web experience. You can't quite do that yet from, from Outlook 2016 or Outlook um, Pro Plus. Um, so let's just go through that experience. I'll copy that hyperlink just to make sure that I'm um, not going to uh, clash with anything let's uh, bring up a separate meeting browser uh, in private browser and um, it is going to take me through to that web experience see the um, link there too it's interesting it's um, in the URL it's consensus is, is a word trying to get a, a meeting consensus so that's fair enough that's exactly what it is uh, taking a little while to, to load there but um, You'll see that it's probably going to be the same kind of experience that Laura had um, logging into o OWA. Oh, no, actually something a little different. So this is cool. Um, in fact, I didn't even have to, to log in there. So the URL is unique. It's got a unique URL um, to identify me as Daryl at BitTitan being invited to this meeting from Daryl at Webster Tech. Um, I can see that Laura has responded and I can see that she has... Um, voted along with with um, you know that time, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to accept this time here. This is good for me. Uh, shall I bring cake or pop cake? As as I was discussing with someone this morning, cake on a stick. Hmm. Um, all right, send that off, and let's go back to my experience of things. What am I seeing within here? A couple of votes. Uh, we're seeing yeah, a vote for Thursday and a vote for Friday. And so I could click through and see that that um, who has voted and, and a similar experience to what I just had with, with um, Daryl at BitTitan was um, you know this is what who has voted on the, uh, the different meeting times. So it's all becoming part of that, that Outlook experience rather than relying on an add-in and relying on a separate service um, for fine time. It has been brought in. Um, 
as I said, what what we do need to still see is is that experience being um, driven or responded to from um, Outlook um, 2016. So at the moment, it still relies on you having to go to a web page, but it's it doesn't need me to, to to log in. So I think that's that's still a good experience. So that was um, find time turning into find a time. Uh, if we'll go back over here. Pretty simple. And uh, now if I had a uh, everyone vote on that meeting, then it's it's going to um, allow me to say right, we've finalised that that meeting. Now within find time, you do have the capability of saying, do I want to hold these times in people's calendars? Do I want to um, automatically schedule the the meeting once everyone has voted um, uh, based on the uh, the highest number of votes for the time that's been suggested? So I'll dig in a little bit deeper um, as I as I play with the feature, but it's good to see that it has come up, um, that it has finally come through. It, it was on the roadmap. Um, so um, thanks for joining me. Um, let's uh, see how this turns out. If you um, have any thoughts or um, foresee any issues, problems, um, do go and uh, discuss this with us over on the tech community. That's techcommunity.microsoft.com. And um, you know, feel free to join us as we discuss some of these tools uh, in regarding Office 365. Thanks for watching.